Hello everyone, I am Monisha. In this section, I will be completing exercise 1.1 in that only the part first of exercise 1.1. So, arithmetic progression solution will be given in this video. In exercise 1.1, we need to find out whether the given question is in AP or not. Okay, the first question is the taxi fare after each kilometer when the fare is rupees 15 for the first kilometer and rupees 8 for the each additional kilometer for the first kilometer the fare is rupees 15 and if we take additional kilometer then it will the money add up to plus 8 8 rupees extra for each additional in kilometer okay so going to the solution part okay so in solution part we know for the first kilometer okay for the first kilometer so what is the charge for the first kilometer it is rupee 15 so this rupee 15 is the first term so that is a the first term is a and the first term is also we can consider it as t1 okay what happens in the second kilometer in second kilometer there will be there will be an addition of 8 rupees so it is 15 plus 8 so 15 plus 8 is 23 here the initial term plus the common difference a plus d d will be 8 because for each additional kilometer we will be adding plus 8 so a is the initial term first term 15 and d is 8 so it can also be written in the form t1 plus d okay so t1 is already we know 15 plus d is 8 again it will become 23 so this is alternate method either we can do it like this or either we can do it like this also okay next going to the third kilometer if we take three kilometers what will become so 23 the previous kilometer 23 plus d 8 okay if we take a plus 2d what happens is I will tell you if you are taking a plus 2d form that is the third term it will become 15 plus 2 into d that is d is 8 here okay so 15 plus 8 2s are 16 it will become 31 so it is in the form a plus 2d so this is one form a plus 2d form a is we know a is 15 2 into d is 8 so a plus 2d is 31 in other alternate method we can do it as t the this is t1 so the first term is t1 and this 23 will become t2 this is the second term so the third term we can write simply as t2 plus d so t2 is 23 plus d is 8 so it will become 31 either of the form we can write okay so next fourth one so if you take 4 kilometers then what it will become a plus 3d that is 15 plus 3 into 8 so that is 15 plus 8 3 is a 24 it will become 39 that is a plus 3d so in alternate method what we can write this will be third term so this 31 become third term so t3 plus d that is 31 plus 8 it will become 39 so this is t4 so clearly you can see here each of the term is increasing by 8 the constant term the constant term is 8 here 15 15 plus 8 is 23 23 plus 8 is 31 31 plus 8 is 39 the common difference is same so since the common difference is same we can clearly state it as this sequence is in AP. This sequence is in AP. Hope you understood how to find out if the question is given like this, how to find out whether the sequence is in AP or not. The second question is, the amount of air present in a cylinder when a vacuum pump removes one by fourth of the remaining air in the cylinder at that time. This means we have a cylinder in which air has been filled. 
and we don't know the exact amount of air or the exact liter of air inside the cylinder okay so in solution first we need to assume the initial weight of the cylinder that is the initial weight of the air okay assume the volume of air as v okay this is the initial volume of air the initial volume of air is v next according to the question what they have done they have removing 1 by 4th of the initial air removing 1 by 4th of the initial air this means 1 by 4th of the initial air so in first stroke what happens 1 v so that is the initial amount of air from that we will remove 1 by 4th of the initial air so here the lcm will be 4 so if we take 4 as lcm the remaining here 4v minus 1v so this will be equal to 3 by 4v so in the first stroke the remaining air will be 3 by 4v so next in the second stroke so now the remaining air is remaining air in the cylinder is 3 by 4v so from this remaining air that is 3 by 4v we will be removing again 1 by 4th of the initial air initial air means now the initial air is 3 by 4v okay 3 by 4 is the initial air now and we are removing 1 by 4th of that initial air so what it will become 3 by 4v minus 3v by 16 so here the lcm is 16 So here it will become four fours are sixteen, so three fours are twelve v minus three v. So it will be nine v by sixteen. You can take many more strokes, third stroke, fourth stroke, and all. But first and the second stroke itself is enough to consider whether it is a p or not. So now when we the first stroke is v, that is the initial amount of the volume of uh, air in the cylinder. When we removed one by fourth part. it became 3 by 4v so this is the first case and next after removing again 1 by 4th part from the initial amount it became 9 9v by 16 okay so now this v will be a1 the first term okay and 3 by 4v will be a2 next this will be a3 so what we need to do Okay, sorry here we need to find out the common difference if the common difference is same if it is a constant number then it will be ap if it is not same if it is not constant then it will not be an ap okay common difference is signified as d so d is equal to a2 minus a1 so 3 by 4 v minus 1 by sorry only v this is the initial amount so we get 3v minus 4v that is minus v by 4 so this is the first common difference next the second common difference will be a3 minus a2 okay So nine v by sixteen minus three v by four. Here the LCM is sixteen, so we'll get nine v minus four four is a sixteen, so three four is a twelve v. So this will be minus three by sixteen v. So here the common difference is very. In first, the common difference is minus v by four, and in second term, the common difference is minus three v by sixteen. Since the common difference is differing, this sequence is not in AP. So you can clearly write it as this is 
not an ap hope you understood this problem coming to the third question of the session the third question is the cost of digging a well after every meter of digging when it costs rupees 150 for the first meter and rises by rupee 50 for each subsequent meter okay so going to the solution part so what they have given is for the first meter of digging the well okay for first meter of digging the well the charges they have taken is rupees 150 okay so this we can consider it as a this is the first term a or it can be t1 the first one so for first meter it is rupee 150 and this is the first term a or t1 okay so by digging second meter that is 2 meter if they took one more meter there will be additional charges and that additional charge is rupee 50 so what happens we have to take a plus d so here a is 150 and the d the additional charge will be 50 it will become 200 so this 200 is t2 okay we can either do it in another form that is the second term can be written as the first term plus common difference okay the first term will be 150 plus d is 50 it will become 200 okay so this 200 will be the second term either you can write it in this form a plus d form or you can write it in this form also both are correct okay moving on to the third meter if they dig for one more meter if they took 3 meter digging then what happens it will become a plus 2d so a plus 2d is a is 150 plus 2 into d is 50 so it will become 150 plus 2 into 50 is 100 so it will become 250 okay so 250 in either method we can write this will be the alternate method that is t3 will be equal to t2 plus the previous term plus common difference the previous term is 200 plus the common difference is 50 so it will become 250 both are same this will be the third term okay either we can take one more term also or we can stop it here itself because in order to find out ap the first two term itself is enough hmm? so now what happens t1 is 150 T two is two hundred and T three is two fifty. Okay. So I am very bad in writing a line. Okay. So what happens? The common difference. We have to find common difference by subtracting the preceding term by the first term. Okay. So T two minus T one. So T two minus T one is two hundred. Minus 150, it will become 50. Next, common difference is T3 minus T2, that is 250 minus 200, it will become 50. So, if the common difference is same, if the common difference turns out to be a constant, then this sequence is considered to be an AP. So, you have to write it. This is an AP. hope you understood this problem also this is the easiest one and they will usually ask you for two marks so coming to the fourth question of this exercise the fourth question is the amount of money in the account every year when rupees 10000 is deposited at a compound interest at 8% per annum so in the solution we need to write here the principal amount is p so the amount is p at 8% per annum for n years n can be any number of years 
so the compound interest formula will become p into 1 plus r by 100 to the power of n this is the formula for compound interest so here we can take for the first year what the amount will become for the first year the principal amount here is 10000 rupees so 10000 into 1 plus so r is the rate rate of interest that is 8% they have given so 8 by 100 to the power of 1 because it is the first year okay so in the second year in the second year the principal amount is 10000 into 1 plus 8 by 100 to the power of 2 it is the second year so n is equal to 2 next for the third year so it will become 10000 into 1 plus 8 by 100 to the power of 3 and so on up to nth year so from this we can clearly state it as since the years are increasing, the compound interest will also double. So the common difference clearly will not be constant. So when the common difference is not constant, what we need to conclude? This is, the sequence is not in AP. Okay, or this is not an AP. Hope you understood the way of doing these problems. This is the four problems in first section. Thank you.